Uh, what's up, Yu-Gi-Oh! memes? Uh, I got a deck profile for you. It's uh, I'm just gonna give you a disclaimer right now. It's just most helmet deck ever, but I won uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Day with this deck. Uh, it's Light Sworn, Helmet Sworn. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, played uh, three Lumina. The uh, best card make level seven synchros, make rank threes. Uh, Pop back row bitch. Uh, two Raiden. It's uh, it clogs at three. I don't know why people play three. Uh, probably the best turn one miller other than like Curry Bandit. Uh, Jane. He's just he runs over things and he's another name. Minerva. She's a name mainly. I think that's why I played it. I played it over Wolf because like it, it mills extra cards. If you uh if you discard or if just you know discard it or you uh you mill it. That's what I like about it. It seemed to work, so I liked it. Moved a lot of wyverns off this, like people were mad. Uh, Aaron, it uh, you kick fucking uh, what is it called? Hands back to the deck. It, I kicked a couple hands. Pretty good. Garoth, no extra cards. Draw some cards. Uh, three eclipse wyvern. You the, the you don't want to draw this card, but you really want to mill it card. But if you draw, you can discard it. So I milled a lot of these this weekend. People were mad. Uh, Three Judgment Dragon, uh, they're nice and common and really helmet looking, but it's, uh, it's Judgment Dragon, it's wind condition stuff. I actually, I feel like I use this to attack for a game more than I actually do blowing up shit, though it's kind of weird. Uh, Diab two Diablos, uh, I, I see people play one, but you should play two, like, you make rank sevens, you can, uh, like, it just baits out back row, like, they have to respond to this fucker. And it's really good against that. So, two recurry bandit. It's uh, I only played two because like everything in your deck is like a normal summon. Look at all these fuckers. Like, like they're all normal summons and like he's like the best normal summon. But like you know, all the light swords can like normal summon by them. Be normal summons by themselves and like it's fine. But yeah, uh, I also I sign him out a lot, and like I go into artifacts. I sign out both because. Just get Sanctum and just like a game over. He's like this, probably the slowest card, but I like him a lot. Because he grabs recharges and that's really ignorant. Uh, Necro Gardener, three autistic rarity. Deck. Yeah. I, this card's like the best card. You protect your Light Swords, it, you know, it go, goes towards your win condition. You don't get killed. Like, that's great. Uh, honest, you know, same, it goes towards your win condition. You, you know, protect your Light Swords. Uh, a Tempest and a Blaster. I played Tempest over Redox because I make Levier a lot, I noticed. And, you know, it's bigger than Redox. It doesn't usually make a difference, but it can. And it has. So, I opted to play Tempest over Redox. Uh, I played, you know, this the one card win condition. I don't know how you lose when you draw this card. This card is ignorant. Uh, three Soul Recharge. You know, that's pretty standard and really ignorant. Two Lance. Um, a lot of people in my area play, like, really heavy back row decks, so, like, I want to I wanna have something, like, to help me grind through those, so it's really good. Like, when people try to break through skill Curry Bandit, I just, uh, I've forbidden Lance them, so. Um, two Soul Charge. I actually kind of want to drop it to one because it feels win more from, like, from playing with it this weekend, because every time I had it, like I was like, attacking for a game or something, or I was, I I did not need it because like my setup was fine, was good enough. Like it's a decent, it's decent for like backup plays, I guess. But the paying life points part's obviously annoying, but you know, it it worked out though. Uh, two breakthrough skill. This card was really this card is MVP. Uh, I. I think I break through I break through Stardust, I break through Draco Sax, I break through Artifacts. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, this is three needle bugs for consistency. I really like this card. Obviously. Uh, all right, next extra deck. Let's play. Play one Arcanite. You know, just uh, when you don't have to make Black Rose or when you don't want to, you make this, or you make this. Uh, these cards great. Like there's just one threat. You just banish it. Like, he gets around, like, 
a lot of things like your light swords can't get around like he gets around them uh black rose pretty obvious you can banish them with rulers and blow up the field and bait out back rows and otk i otk like everybody <laughs> Scrap Dragon. It's uh, I actually I feel like I only really make level eight synchros through uh, Soul Charge, so I just I opted to play Scrap Dragon, and I I didn't play Crimson Blader because of that because like if I Soul Charge I obviously can't Blader over your monster so. Uh, now exceeds uh, Levier. It's the best exceed, probably in the extra deck. Yeah, I think so. Other than Brigos, I guess. Uh, because you bring back Wyverns, you trigger them again, it's pretty pretty ignorant. Like, this whole deck is ignorant, like, I don't know. Uh, Alucard, I could see myself playing a Star Eater, or, or like a Star Spark, I don't know, over him, like, but I didn't make, I didn't make or need any of those other cards anyway. Um, Tem Tempo, uh, for Ophion. Lava Chain, uh, I usually use him to dump a Dragon Roar or a Wyvern or something. Uh, 101, didn't make it. It's stable, though. Uh, Paladynamo, it's also another one of those Ophion outs. Direwolf, I didn't make it, like, surprisingly. I usually, like, use him to simplify the game state so it can attack for a game or something like that. Exiton, won me game versus Madolce. Uh, Big Eye, and Dragosac. I love this card. And then Falgrand, usually just to play over, uh, you know, play around like Swift Scarecrows and stuff. Like, it's kind of funny. Like, I had a Dragosack and a, what's it called, an Exiton all at the same time. People were like, what the fuck's going on? Like, what deck does that, right? Uh, Alright, side deck. Uh, one more level in Catastrophe. I could only find one. Because I, I realized a lot of people were going to be playing Artifacts and they. There was like at least like four or five of them at Yu-Gi-Oh day. I only played one and was in the finals of it, and I milled it. And game t uh, game three, he was afraid of it, but you know, for a couple turns, and yeah, he eventually attacked. Uh, two decree. Uh, it didn't re resolve. It like I didn't like it didn't stick. Like I don't know. Like last week, it, it stuck a lot, but no, not today. Uh, two Rikos didn't resolve us a single time, but. You know, it's there for, like, Ophion and things. He got Dark Hole, poor guy. The Doge. Uh, three Maxis, side this in a lot. It's, like, Mermails and stuff. And anything that's, like, a special summons a lot. Like, you have this, you can have this set up and, like, uh, you know, like, a cu like, Illumina and, like, a couple things. And, like, they have to, like, and when they, like, start to commit to special summons, like, you just, you just kind of fuck them because they, you draw a lot of cards. Uh... Three Typhoons, so I think it's like nearly everything. Um, Soul Release and a Fiend Comedian. Uh, these were mainly for the mirror match. I could see my. I, I cited this thing against. Uh, what is it called? Um, Dragon Roars I play, but I didn't draw it. I didn't draw. I mean, I didn't cite this but against them, but this is really good in the mirror match. But I didn't draw. I didn't play that mirror match. And I, these, these are for uh, Ophion, but I didn't play well, against Ophion. So yeah, that's the deck. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, everyone in top eight like basically hates me now. So everyone who, who went who got top eight. So yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.